tomorrow on Home and Family. Actress Candace Cameron Bure from the Hallmark Channel original movie Christmas Sister Swap visits our home. Welcome back. We're with designer, antiques dealer, and flea market expert Bob Richter. Welcome, Bob. It's Thank nice you. to have you here. Thank you. We're going to talk about this book. Fascinating stuff inside. Your collection is remarkable. But before we do that, um, we want to invite everybody to celebrate Christmas in July with us with Hallmark Channel's Keepsake Ornament Sweepstakes every day from July 10th through the 23rd. Through the 23rd, we are giving away a set of our families family members' favorite ornaments. So you can go to Hallmark Channel's official Facebook page or go to hallmarkchannel.com. Everything you need to enter, all the details, information will be there uh, waiting for you. And waiting for us by the tree right now is Debbie. Hi guys. So the ornament I chose this year is called I Am Three. And it's this little number three with an upside down little monkey. And that's because this October, Alexandra is turning three. I can hardly believe it. Last year I chose I am two, because she was two the year before that. <laughs> I am one. I, it seems like just yesterday that I announced my pregnancy right here on the show. And her nickname is Monkey. We call her Little Monkey, and she's often upside down like this and climbing all over the walls. So this is for you, my sweet little Alexandra. I'm going to put it right here, front and center. And I'm sure next time she's here, she'll try to take it off the tree. <laughs> <laughs> And that's right by mine up there, which is going to be our first. I know. Which is with our little one. You won't believe how quickly it goes. It goes by very quickly. All right, flea market warrior, Bob. <laughs> it's nice to have you with us. Um, you know, part of the PBS series, uh, Market Warriors, I mean, this is from the producers of Antique Roadshow. Antiques are such a big, big business for people, you know, whether they collect them or just in pursuit thereof. Why are people so fascinated with vintage it's the personal connection. Did you have something like this in your home when you were growing up? Did your Nana have it? Did your grandmother have it? Your Aunt Sally? It reminds you of people and places. We're sure. connected True. to it. Yes. It's the comfort, True. connection, continuity of yeah. vintage. And your beautiful book, A uh, Very Vintage yeah. Christmas. It's your new book. It's so beautiful. It um, sort of explains how to find and use vintage decorations around the holidays. Could you just give us a brief overview of what's in this beautiful book? Sure. Well, not a lot of people realize that Christmas as we know it now has only been celebrated for about 100 years in this country. So the trees and all this stuff wasn't happening back in the pioneer days. Uh, so the history is in there. How did all this get started? Then where do you find it? The best flea markets in America? I list in the book along with their websites. How to use it, how to decorate it with it. I don't pretend like it's 1940, but I yeah. use 1940s ornaments mixed with 50s and 60s and other right. decades. It only takes 20 years to be vintage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, is that it? Wow. I wow. guess we're all, we're all vintage. Wow. Well, let's, you know, let's just fine wine skip for right over that vintage. and jump into some of the pages yeah. of the book and take a look because sure. it's really a beautiful book. You have <laughs> Thanks. Let's see what we have. Oh. What's our first page? Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Oh. That's wow. my holiday home. That's your that's house? Your house? Yes. Oh. Your wow. tree is amazing. Wow. wow. Do you want to see getting that tree in a New York City elevator? I was going to say. <laughs> That can't be easy. My that is goodness. That is beautiful. It. beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. There's an Art Deco metal tree. All eras are represented. How long has it taken you to collect all of these things? I started when I was about six years old. Oh, that's beautiful, too. Oh, yeah. Where is that? Well, okay, so I call this my velveteen rabbit tree because all of these ornaments were colored at one point in time, and they've lost their color over the years. That's their wonderful. silvering shines through now because the outside color is gone. Well, we have a photo, if this is in here right now, of all the things that you actually brought for us today. We had asked Bob to bring a few of his things. <laughs> and, well, that that is seriously a mere fraction of the oh. things that you brought. And you also, we have some on the table as well that you're going to walk through us. How many Christmas decorations and ornaments and figurines would you say that you have in your collection? It's in the thousands at this point. I mean, I am going to look at the Guinness World Record and... and, and I, I think you probably... I when think I, said I qualify. That, yeah, when I said that, I wasn't yeah. kidding. Yeah. Because just yeah. looking in your home, it, well, I think it's in the high thousands. Yeah. Would you say it that? It is. And I had to climb through the attic to get all this stuff to... For us here. today. Thank you so <laughs> much. Today. We appreciate all your well, hard let, work and dedication. Let's journey of love. Jump let's talk it. about this Santa that's here in front sure, of you. Sure, sure. Well, this guy has a very personal connection for me because uh, when I was five years old, I went to the pediatrician. I came home. My brother had decorated a tree for me, and this gentleman was underneath it. 
Um, so he's been with me for a long time. He's the only piece of Christmas that I keep out all year long. He's my nightlight in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. no, really? Because <laughs> I was too attached to him to put him away after Christmas, so he just stayed in my room as my nightlight, so he's still with me today. But you updated him a little bit with the wiring. I did update him because with old wiring, you want to be sure, especially with kids. This is a brand new wire and bulb from the hardware store. Boop. Just put it right inside, and there he is, safe and, and there sound. he is right there, yes. at that yeah. Christmas that you, you talked That's about right, right in this picture, right there behind your big grin. It says 1968 back here. Uh, wow. Yes. Look at that. So as You're you, dating me. I got him a few uh, years after that. But yes. <laughs> I, want, I, I want our, I'll have the camera kind of take a look at some of the other stuff, but I want to ask you, what should people look for when they go to flea markets? You have to look for something that connects to you to your past, to your history, that's a great place to start. Sure. When you go into someone's home, and if you want to get to know them, ask them about that special object, the vase, the piece of yeah. art, what have you. And we find these things at flea markets. Oftentimes it's something that reminds you of, oh my gosh, my grandmother had this, yeah. my uncle had and this. And speaking of your grandmother, you also say it's very important to pass along your decorations and some of these things that you've been collecting before you pass. Absolutely. And you have all of your grandmothers. I do. Both sets of grandmothers gave me their ornaments while they were still alive. They could see how much I was into Christmas. Obviously, you got this crazy kid. There's my Nana and I Aww. giving her a big smooch uh, at Christmas time. And she gave me all of her ornaments and enjoyed them in my home on my tree for many years. And that way it wasn't sad. It was, it was a different kind of exactly. passing on of these beautiful so things. So settle this for us because now you say now's the time you should be shopping. Oh, yes. This is where you're going to find your vintage stuff at a good price. But Debbie feels like you should not pay the sticker price. I'm just like, if that's what they want for it, I'll pay no, it. We're, listen, we're, I'm Greek. We come from the land of haggling in Greece at the Bazaria. You never give them full price. That's is that right. correct? That is oh. totally correct. Oh. Christmas came early one for me. Point, one point for Debbie. It's built into the price, and it's built into the dance. It's expected. Uh, it's well, I paid for deal. that one, didn't I? Yeah. Mark, it's I'm like you, deal. Mark. I'm like you. Yeah. It's very oh, exciting yeah. to get, get a good deal. We are giving away, by the way, 10 copies of Bob's book. Go to our Facebook page for details. And you can connect with Bob in his social media, although the sticker cool. price stands on that. <laughs> yes, <Same>. it does. <laughs> you guys stick around because up next, the sticker price stands on Valerie Gordon. She's our confectioner. Come on back.